Bill Kasner is the epitome of a horseman. He knows what it's like to rope and steer to win, and he knows what it's like to watch a homebred foal stretch its legs for the first time, then thunder down the stretch to win the Kentucky Derby. Growing up in the cowboy country of El Paso, Texas, Bill started riding horses when he was four, had a rope in his hand by the time he was seven. Bill started working at New Mexico's Sunland Park Racetrack at age 15. I didn't think there was any better job than getting paid to ride a racehorse, he said. His mother was a school teacher and she passed along a love of education and Bill put himself through Tarleton State University exercising horses. Horses and racing have been a constant thread through his life. Yearning to be a trainer after college, he headed to the Nebraska Racing Circuit where he met his wife of 40 years, Susan, at a racetrack in Omaha. She was working at the betting window, and let's just say, he cashed a winning ticket. It was love at first sight. And he met his future business partner, Kenny Trout, while they were bidding to claim the same horse out of the same race. Bill and Susan's two daughters, Casey and Carrie, were practically born on the racetrack, and Bill decided that he needed something more stable for his family. He left the racetrack to become a snap-on tool salesman, but not just any salesman. He took a business from the bottom and took it all the way to the top. Then he and Kenny Trout formed a partnership in a communications company that would enable them to return back to the racetrack in a big way. They purchased a historic farm in Kentucky and built it into one of the most successful thoroughbred operations in the world, Windstar Farm. They had success with some of their great homebred equines, Bluegrass Cat, Colonel John, Drosselmeyer, the winner of the 2010 Belmont Stakes and the 2011 Breeders' Cup Classic. And they won the 2010 Kentucky Derby with a homebred in Super Saver. Kasner has a deep love for the horses he raised. This is exemplified by what he did with Well Armed, who went on to win the richest race in the world, the 2009 Dubai World Cup. Well Armed experienced injuries as a two-year-old. Some said, put him down, give up, he'll never make it back to the racetrack. Not Bill, he believed in the horse. He nursed him back, not only from his injuries, but back to the racetrack, and he would storm down the lane to win the Dubai World Cup by a record 14 lengths. Let's say, Bill never gave up, and neither did Well Armed. It's Well Armed, five lengths in front, six lengths in front, seven lengths in front of Gloria de Campo, and from Cigar to Well Armed, it's all over at Dan Alshiba. In spite of all of his success, Kasna has not been immune to heartache. His daughter, Carrie, was killed in a terrorist bombing in Bali. Well Armed, ironically, was born on Carrie's birthday. Well Armed has a special stall at their Rafter Sea Ranch in Flower Mound, Texas, where you'll see weanling and yearling thoroughbreds being conditioned for their careers at the racetrack, right alongside his quarter horses for his love of team roping. Bill continues to hone his roping skills and is an active competitor in the United States Team Roping Associations in the World Series of Team Roping. Bill has been devoted to the well-being of racehorses and the industry. He has served as the chairman of the Thoroughbred Owners and Breeders Association and of the Kentucky Equine Education Project, providing educational opportunities to the children of the behind-the-scenes racetrack workers. Bill and Susan now operate Kasner Racing LLC. He believes the horse is one of God's greatest gifts to us. The Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame welcomes 2017 honoree Bill Kastner.